Hey Grace Kids, welcome back to Grace Kids TV. My name is Bill Brown and I serve as a preteen Sunday school teacher here at Grace Church. It's so great to be joining you again today. In today's Bible story, we will learn about when Elijah served as a prophet. God used Elijah to challenge the people to choose who they would worship, the idol Baal or the true living God. The people saw that Baal did not respond when they called out to him, but God responded by burning up the wet offering. God displayed his power on Mount Carmel and showed all those who watched that he alone is God. We also have to choose who we will worship. God sent his son, Jesus, to demonstrate his power over sin and death. But we must choose to repent of our sin and follow Jesus. Only Jesus can turn our hearts back to God. But before we go to today's story, let's head over to Grace Kids Trivia to see what you remember from last week's story about Jeroboam disobeyed God. Good luck. Question one, true or false? Jesus met with a group of people who thought they were better than everyone else and told them a story in order to teach them a lesson. And the answer is... True, this was true. And you may remember that Jesus' story was about a religious leader and a tax collector who went into the temple together. But that leads us to our next question of the day. Question two, true or false? Religious leaders typically tried hard to make God love them. They tried to follow all the rules and even made new rules to follow. And the answer is... True, this was true again. Religious leaders did their best to follow rules and they did all they could to make God love them. But in last week's lesson, we learned about a religious leader in Jesus' story who God was not happy with. And we'll talk more about that soon. Question three, true or false? Tax collectors were typically honest and fair people. And the answer is... False, this was not true. You may remember that tax collectors were typically unfair and dishonest. People usually did not like tax collectors. But that leads us to question four of the day. True or false? God was happy with the religious leader's prayer, but not the tax collector's prayer. And the answer is... False! This was not true. In the religious leader's prayer, he said a few negative things about the tax collector and made him feel bad about what he had done. However, the tax collector felt bad and said that he was sorry for the wrong things that he had done. The tax collector prayed, Have mercy on me, God. I am a sinner. And Jesus said that God was happy with the tax collector and he forgave him. But God was not happy with the religious leader. Jesus said that if you put yourself above others, you will be put down. But if you are humble, God will honor you. And our final question of the day, question five, true or false? Everyone has sinned and needs God's mercy and forgiveness. And the answer is true. This is definitely true. And Jesus came to take the punishment we deserve for our sin by dying on the cross. We can ask God for forgiveness and because of Jesus, God will forgive our sin. It's me, Megan, and I am Jesse. Hey, Megan, I have a question. Yes, Jesse. When you were a kid, did you ever disobey your parents? Uh, yeah, I did. Are you having a hard time obeying Jesse? Yes! My dad tells me every morning, brush your teeth, brush your teeth, and every night, brush your teeth, but I don't want to brush my teeth. I see. Well, brushing your teeth is important, and so is obeying your parents. Today's Bible story is actually about a king who disobeyed. 
Oh, did he not like to brush his teeth either? Uh, I, I don't know about that, but the Bible says King Jeroboam disobeyed God. Listen to this story to find out what happened. Jeroboam was the king of Israel. He saw there was a problem. If the people of Israel wanted to worship God, they would have to go to the temple in Jerusalem. Jerusalem wasn't in Israel. It was in Judah, where their old king, Rehoboam, was in charge. Jeroboam wanted to make sure the people never went back to following their old king. So instead of letting them go to Jerusalem to worship God at the temple, Jeroboam made two golden calves for the people to worship. Look, he said, these golden calves are the gods who saved your families out of Egypt. You can worship them. What Jeroboam did was a sin. Those calves did not save God's people. It was God who led his people out of Egypt. Jeroboam tried very hard to make Israel seem like a better place to live than Judah. He led all the people to worship false gods. One day, Jeroboam was getting ready to make a sacrifice to a false god when a man came to him. The man was a prophet. God had sent him with a message. The prophet warned that God was going to judge the leaders who made sacrifices to false gods. Jeroboam did not like the prophet's message. He pointed to the prophet and shouted, arrest this man. But suddenly Jeroboam could not move his arm. The altar next to him broke into pieces. Help, Jeroboam cried, pray and ask God to heal my arm. So the prophet prayed and God healed Jeroboam's arm. Still, Jeroboam did not turn from his evil ways. Because of Jeroboam's sin, Jeroboam's kingdom would one day be destroyed. Sin separates us from God. Jesus came to bring us back to God. Jesus is the true king who gave his life so we can be forgiven. His kingdom will last forever. you're going to need a couple more supplies. You're going to need the printout with the flame in the picture below, some scissors, glue or tape. I'm going to choose to use tape today, a little popsicle stick, and something to color with. And I'm going to show you exactly how to put this craft together. Are you ready? Okay, first I'm going to color the flame in the picture below. cut out the flame and just cut a straight line across the top here to separate them. Okay. Then I'm going to cut the flame out. And if this cutting is hard for you, that is not a problem. You can just cut kind of a rectangle around the flame to make it a little bit easier. Okay. Then I'm going to take the popsicle stick and tape or glue it onto the back of the flame. Oh, my piece of tape is a little bit too long. Okay. Then you're going to take this 
fold it in half and you're just going to cut on this dotted line at the top of the brick pile. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold it and make a little slit. See how I did that? So if you fold it, then you can use your scissors to cut on that dotted line and then open it back up. Then you wanna slide the flame underneath, behind, so then you can hide the flame. Oops, sorry. Hide the flame and then make the flame come up. And then our craft is complete. So when your craft is complete, you can read why we made this craft and how it relates to our story. But if you remember in today's Bible story, the prophet Elijah showed God's power to an evil king. Elijah built an altar with wood. Water was poured on top of the wood, so it was very wet. Elijah prayed that the wood would catch fire. How do you think God answered Elijah's prayer? I'm gonna let you guys use this craft and talk about it as a class to answer that question. How do you think God answered Elijah's prayer? I hope you guys have a lot of fun making this craft. Thanks so much for watching Grace Kids TV. Have a wonderful week.